hello everyone welcome to the laravel tips and tricks today video is about how we can compile our asset in laravel 9 application so you can also compile them into your previous version but it's a little bit change in laravel 9 so let's get started so this is the topic we are going to cover compiling assets so basically laravel mix provide us functionality to compile our css and js file into um, very minified files so first understand the purpose and then implement this into our project so for example we have five css file five js file right so we want to compile them into one file for uh, our easy to maintain right we don't want to include uh, five files we uh, want to include only once and our project will work like a charm okay so one another purpose so another purpose is uh, it's uh, good for seo purposes uh, it's uh, uh, going to execute only uh, one file instead of five files right and uh, one more thing it's uh, easy to maintain for a developers to maintain only one file instead of five files right that's why it's uh, also useful because it's compile these files into a uh, minified files right that's why we are going to compile our files so then you need to go to your mix file and then execute this code but laravel provide us a default functionality when you install laravel 9 project so it comes by default with this application right so first understand the example and then we will move to the this mix file so i have a simple project where i have added example 1 css example 2 css so let me go to the example 1 first so example one first contain an id of color red and example two contain the id color of green and uh, this js contain the uh, alert from test file one and this one contain alert file two so it means that we have uh, two css file and two js files and i have added them at the top and at the bottom right and here i have added uh, two heading example css one and example css two and if i go here and execute them into our project so here let's get refresh and uh, yes it's working fine css is working fine js is working fine right and now we are going to move them into this uh, we are going to compile these files okay so basically laravel mix is uh, responsible for compiling our assets so let's go to the laravel mix and laravel mix contain these two basic stuff right and this source map so first to uh, understand this with mix js so we are going to compile our js file so how we can in this case we have multiple files so how we can compile multiple files at once so by default it's a uh, executing app.js file right so we are going to execute this uh, execute this uh, file by default so how you can run your uh, run your mix files so you need to first uh, make sure that your node.js is installed and npm is installed right so if you are uh, not familiar with node.js so let's go to the google and type node.js and install its uh, setup right it's a exe file and you need to install this into your uh, operating system okay and next uh, you need to install the npm so when you install the node.js npm command is available so just type npm install and it will install the npm for you type here npm install i'm pausing this because i already installed this npm okay and next when you want to run the compile files you need to run uh, when you want to compile the files you need to run npm run dev or npm run prod so it's basically for production so you can run both file or you can also run npm run watch so you can get the live changes by using this when you press ctrl save so it will uh, execute this in the terminal but for now we are doing this npm run dev so before this if you take look uh, on this uh, public directory so there is a css directory and there is a js directory so there is no app.css and there is no app.js so when this will compile successfully it will add the app.css and app.js file right so where it's uh, going to execute it's going to execute it from there so it's going to execute this app.css and uh, app.js so it's a scs not css 
so it's uh, taking little bit time let me tell you one more thing if you uh, you are referencing the path here so for example you want to execute uh, three files so you will add an array here and then where you want to compile so here you need to specify the path so i want to compile them into public slash js and if you did not specify this path so it will by default get this file name right otherwise if you uh, specify the path here so it's uh, going to uh, name this file like this right so i'm going to remove this and then we will also add the custom name here so let's so uh, take eye on this it's going to compile and add uh, these file into this uh, css directory and js directory okay it's uh, compiled successfully and it's going to execute and it's also giving us a message warning so we are uh, programmers so we are not responsible for warnings we are responsible for errors so it's going to compile successfully and yes it's uh, ended right so it means that it's added this app.scs and app.js file here right so basically it's uh, getting it uh, from this uh, resources directory in the resources we have uh, this uh, these files uh, let me go there in this css basically it's getting this app.css and it's pushing this app.css into this uh, app dot css into the public directory and it's also getting it from this app.js directory so now we don't want to execute this uh, existing stuff so we want to execute our custom uh, theme files right so how we can do this so now let me uh, first clear the stuff here so let's go here go to this uh, views and uh, not views here i'm going to delete uh, all of the stuff let's uh, delete this uh, file and so go to the js file and delete this uh, app dot js file so i'm not going to delete this bootstrap so just to uh, remain this okay and uh, here now i'm going to move these files into the js directory because we want to execute it from the js file because we are loading it from js file so by default framework uh, also load it from the js file so it's a good practice to follow the framework okay move and uh, where we want to move them we want to move them into this css directory okay now these are added so let's uh, go here and uh, copy this so uh, test one and test two let's me unselect the above one cut them out go to this js directory and paste them here so now these are added right so if i go here and get refresh it's not going to execute because this file does not exist right okay so now the time is to go there and oh i uh, close this uh, server that's why it's behaving like this okay so now here i need to specify their path right so how i can specify multiple path because this is uh, only for one so uh, we are first going to reference the js file so let's uh, copy this and uh, add an array symbol here and here you need to specify your path okay resources slash then you need to type uh, js and there in the js you want to give test one dot js right and then let's copy it again add a comma here and then name this so uh, test 2 right so now it's good so here let's uh, run it again npm run dev so it's going to compile these two files into this js directory right so let's take eye on this now it will compile them very soon so how you can compile these uh, css and sas file so if you want to execute the sas file so you need to uh, add this like this right and if you want to execute multiple sas files so just to chain here multiple uh, dot uh, sas file right but if you want to execute the css you want to compile the css file so how you can do this so just you need to type the post to css and uh, you need to pass the first parameter would be the path of your resources file and then where you want to compile them right so uh, we are not going to save this 
because our process is in progress right so that's why i'm here to just type this without any save resources slash css in the cs directory we have two ones right we have example one dot css and what's uh, where we want to compile them we want to compile them into the public uh, slash uh, css and in the css we are going to also assign them a custom name uh, for now i'm going to not going to assign the name here you don't need to uh, add the comma because we are calling this post css again okay, here we need to specify the post to oops i saved this because it's during the compilation so maybe it will execute these both ones if it's not to uh, not add this line hope it will execute these two one and uh, add uh, uh, example one and uh, test one into this uh, directory right public uh, css and js so let's take eye on this okay so now our files are compiled right so it's compiled this file into test one dot js i already told you that uh, let me show the files so this files is added here test one dot js so it will look like this so you will uh, first show that what is this because it's uh, uh, it's uh, uh, let me tell you that where your code is it's the uh, first file and it's second file so other file is used for compilation of these files so you don't need to take care about any of the code right okay so if you want to change any code so you need to go to the resources uh, slash test file and uh, change this file and then npm run dev again and it will be updated on the mix file right so here it's executed these files right so let me go there in the web pack so here is assigned this name right test one dot js why it's assigned this name because we did not pass this name here so if you want to pass this name here common dot js it will now generate the common dot js not the test one dot js okay so here let's uh, go here and delete the existing one i'm going to delete this so uh, test one delete Okay, now it's deleted and we are still waiting for this compilation okay so it's compiled successfully and it's added this file common.js file so it's still same like it's generated the test one dot example so our code is here and also here so it's also other code which is used for compilation okay so now once more step is done because we added this uh, how we can render the css file right so example.css and example2.css into this post directory right so here if we go to this uh, post directory not this one we go to this public directory it's added this uh, example and this uh, example2 right so we don't want to uh, add these two files as like this we want to generate only one file and add all of the stuff into one file so let's uh, delete them here let me uh, select them twice and delete it at once okay so now these files are deleted right so here let's go here and then you need to specify a common file name so you can name whatever you want i'm naming this common.css because it's same for both files that's why i'm naming this common file.css right so what it's going to do it's basically it's going to do the it's going to compile this file into this file the common.css and it's also going to compile example 2 into common css it's not going to generate two files it's going to generate only one file and add uh, both file stuff into one file right so wait for a moment okay so now our css compilation is done and it's generated this common.css file which contain the example test one file and one code and then example css code two right so it's mean that it's compiled two files into one and generated only one file with our custom name 
if you want to define the custom name you can define this here right or if you want to generate this for js so you can add this here so now i'm going to execute my server here and then i'm going to run this is it properly working or not so let's run this php artisan serve and in the go there and just add these two files right so let's so remove the second one and here just to add the common.css and then we don't need this uh, file anymore this one would be the common.js right so let's go here and give it a refresh and check that our code is working or not wait for a moment and yes hello from test one executed test two and this uh, css is also working so it means that we successfully compiled our css and js file into only one file right one is uh, common css one is common js so if you have uh, 10 css file and 10 js file so you can execute uh, in only one file so you don't need to handle multiple file at uh, all right so i have added this and it's executing all of the one if you are going to change uh, want to change something into this common dot css or common js file so you don't need to do this here so you need to go to the resources file and change uh, uh, change everything into this uh, resources file here right and then you need to run the npm run dev and it will update them into this uh, into these uh, files right common dot css and common dot js file by the way if you want to execute the post css uh, want to ex execute the scs you can execute this scss and you can also read out that why you can we are adding this source map so you can also comment this out but it's used for other purpose uh, so you can read it from the documentation right so documentation clearly described everything so hope you get an idea that how you can compile your css and js file and you can also execute uh, even images file into uh, you can compile the images right i'm not going to do this because it's going very longer so you can read it from the documentation so if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected bye bye